Today we're in the uh, hose test laboratory, North American Fire Hose, where we evaluate not only our hose but others as well. I'm going to show you three of the uh, kink resistant hoses that are on the market. One of course is ours, the DBAC, and then uh, two others that are becoming popular. The one, these two have a very thin nitrile lining which allows water pressure to dilate it and expand open. I wanted to do a little measurement of the inside diameter. Let's start with this one. This one, we have tapered mandrels here and this particular one you have to make sure that you push in on the to take the fold out of this crease and push it down a little bit. That's just to get it round. Keep in mind, again, it, it dilates with pressure. So not without really forcing it, it comes to that dot right there. I hope you can see that. If we take the circumference comparator here and measure very accurately that particular spot, right at that spot. The size is 1.82. So that's quite a bit larger than inch and three quarter what it's supposed to be. Another manufacturer has got again a very thin nitro liner. And we slide that down on the mandrel and it goes way past that dot. I don't even have to put the dot on there. This this particular instrument is calibrated. It's almost it's almost two inches, very, very close. Keep in mind both of those measurements are without water pressure. And that water pressure will dilate those. The D back, made on a nylon 66 EPDM liner. For inch and three quarter, let's get this down here, is quite short of that dot. Just about at that line where it says inch and 13 sixteenths. So let's put the comparator on that. A 1.7, let's see here, hold on, 1.76 to 7.7, which is really uh, your targeted inside diameter. Our current construction of DBAC, it absolutely follows the Freeman principle and will give you the proper inside diameter. It's less weight by at least three pounds less than the other two's examined. Thank you for watching.